Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. I'm the Umbreon Messiah, and here we are at the, uh, boss of the seventh dungeon, Eagle's Tower. Yeah, you're gonna make me wish I was never born, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, that's an eagle. Oh, I get it now, Eagle's Tower, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, this is a side-scrolling boss. It's unique, there's no other boss in the game quite like him. Um, and he flies about, does about two hearts of damage every time he hits you. And his entire strategy is really just to try and knock you off the tower. If he actually knocks you off the tower, he, uh, regenerates the full health and you have to come back up and fight him again. He's really not that hard once you've figured out the pattern. But if you come in here without knowing, you know, what he can do, he'll knock you off a couple of times. I had to restart this battle about, no, oh, ten times the first time I tried to fight him. Alright. He'll just basically become a sitting duck after a while, though. Oh. Or, or he could be completely unpredictable. Come on. Come on. There you are, you bastard. My energy gone. I lost. But you will be lost, too, if the windfish awakes. Same as me, you are in his dream. Yeah, well, guess what? At least I'm still in it, bitch! Alright. Now, as you may or may not notice, the instrument isn't up here. You have to go back into the dungeon and go in here. Say hello to the organ of evening calm! Isn't it pretty, folks? Alright, with that, we have the seventh siren's instrument. Uh, meaning we can get to uh, Turtle Rock, the eighth dungeon which will be our final dungeon before the uh, final leg of the game. Now, um, I think I'm going to cut away for just a little bit, because we have to tread some of the same ground we've already been over in order to get to Turtle Rock. Oh yeah, and the rooster's gone. So I'll see you when I've caught up to where we're supposed to be. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. No special transportation sequences this time. Uh, hey... Interesting fact, if I went up that bridge earlier, there would have been a secret seashell there, but I already have the level 2 sword, so yeah, it's not there anymore. Anyway, this is how we're going to get to the 8th uh, level of Turtle Rock. If we go in here, you'll see that the uh, Flying Rooster hasn't actually just been removed from the game. They kind of gave him to this guy, which is kind of neat, I guess. All right. Oh, God! Oh, that was close. Woo! Dodged a bullet there. Anyway, using the hookshot to get across here, we'll find... Marin? How the hell did she get up here? Oh, of course. Monsters, who obviously had wings. Alright, well, I guess we'll save her sorry ass. Oddly enough, you can make that jump with the boots and kind of screw this sequence up. It's really funny. Yeah, that was a surprise. Atherin, thank you. Ooh. Romantic tension! Uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Yeah, yeah, come on. You motherfucker! Oh, I don't believe this. I've been cock-blocked by Mario. Wow, that... Oh. And, of course, my stalker. You guys just really don't want Link to get laid, do you? Ah, <sighs> bastards. Anyway... Apparently, Marin was trying to wake the windfish with her song so she could get a wish or something. I don't remember. It's pretty stupid, and the monsters ber went berserk and carried her away. Um, so he gives us a hint to use my ocarina to get into the tur get into Turtle Rock, and yeah, I don't really care. Moving down here. Ah, forgot about that. Die, you son of a bitch. All right, and if we bomb this wall, uh, boom, and go over here, we will find the second last piece of heart. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that means there is absolutely one last piece of heart in this game to collect, as Turtle Rock will give us our own heart container. All right, oh dear, I'm a fool. Let's keep moving, shall we? Oh, another job for the hookshot. Yay! Die. Oh, yay, a throwback to the original Zelda. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. At least the music's cool. 
Ow! You jerk! Of course you'd attack me from the other side! I'm sorry if I start singing to this music, but it is retardedly badass. Oh, hey, look who it is! <laughs> well, there's only one more thing he can upgrade for me, so I suppose we're going to fill out on magic powder. By the way, in case you hadn't noticed, I'd only used nine things of powder so far in the entire game. I could probably get away without it. But I'm gonna get it anyway, because I'm going to need it later. Hehehe, <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Blah, 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 blah. You're not really hurting me. Moving on. Kill his ass. Drop down here. Kill your two asses. Bomb that wall. Now, here's the cool part. You can actually get to Turtle Rock before completing the uh, Eagle's Tower. You'll see here is a cannon that shoots fire at you. Now, with the regular shield, you can't do anything about that. And each time it hits you, it does eight hearts of damage. So it can kill you pretty goddamn fast. But if you have a crazy Tracy potion and uh, Pegasus boots, you can actually get through before it fully kills you and get to Turtle Rock. Of course, since we have the mirror shield, just move my ass through here, and we're good. I gotta stop doing that. Alright. Oh. Alright. Kill the Moblin. I don't know what that's doing there. Ah, here we are. The entrance. Now, like the uh, Stalker said, there's no real way in. But if we play our if we play Mamu's Frog Song, do 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 do. Oh my! Oh dear! The turtle head came to life. Interesting note: this music doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. Not that it matters because this mini boss is pathetically easy. Yes. Just, oh, no! Bastard! Urgh. I will seek vengeance upon you and your family. They will know in turtle torment. I'll stop. Anyway, we'll move into the dungeon. Welcome to level 8, Turtle Rock. This dungeon is a bitch. It is the hardest dungeon in this game. And the only reason it's going to be anywhere remotely acceptable to me is because of the boomerang. It helps kill Vyres really fast. Otherwise, they're an eternal pain in the ass. Hey, look, it's you again. Ow. Jerk. Just die already. Come on, come on. I got some of this dungeon to cover before we run out of time. Meet the uh, most recurring puzzle of Turtle Rock. These little things cover up holes in the ground. If you manage to cover up every bit of hole in the room with one of these, a treasure will drop. I got 20 rupees. Yay. I don't have to go up, but I should go across here and get that treasure. Oh, wait, no, it's just 50 rupees. What the fuck do I care? Hey, remember this guy? It's the uh, mini-boss from the first dungeon who dies at the single hit from the boomerang. Yay! Alright, we'll kill your ass. Seriously, though, I don't feel bad killing virus at the boomerang. They're retardedly hard to kill otherwise. As I said, the boomerang is a game-breaker. Okay, now I gotta kill that thing before it sucks me up. And get this treasure! Hooray! The compass! When I get the map, I'm gonna show you something really cool about this dungeon. But I can't show it to you until I get the map, so there's no real point. And I'm just really wasting time while that thing tells me what the compass does for the 50th time in a row! Okay, 7th, but... No, 8th. I think I've gotten every compass. We're not going up because I can't do anything up there yet, and it would be a waste of time. Go back this way, and into this room. Kill the Vire again, and we'll be heading to the right this- You son of a bitch! <laughs> Bastard! This room's not complicated. It has powder, so you can get rid of those things. We're not going to go much further than this room, though, because we don't have a lot of time left. So, when we continue uh, Let's Play Link's Awakening, 
we'll explore more of the Turtles Rock and try to get ourselves through the 8th dungeon and defeat the final boss so we can leave this goddamn friggin' island once and for all. Fucking Guardian Acorns.